Hey guys, Rebecca here from homeschoolon.com. Now, I don't know if you can see here in front of me, but I have a whack load of math books sitting on my school table. And today's review is really gonna be quite different because I'm not gonna sit here and talk to you about one specific thing that we're using. Instead, I wanna give you a detailed comparison review to help you identify for your family and for your child which math curriculum might be the best fit. So grab yourself a pen and paper, take some notes, screenshot on your camera, subscribe if you like what you see, and definitely get some coffee or tea because this is going to be a detailed review and I'm so excited to show you what I've got. All right, so I'm basically gonna go through these one by one. From what I can gather, I believe I am missing two math curriculums here. So I'm hoping to get my hands on them and you know add them to this review down the road and or link to a separate video. So stay tuned for that. In the blog post that's linked in the description below this video, I will have updated um, additions to the review. So this is also done as a blog post and it is done as a video to give you guys an interjected look both visually and so you can hear and see and see the flip through and get a really good idea of what is out there and what it looks like inside. So hopefully this is gonna be incredibly detailed and help you choose a math curriculum because my goodness, that is not easy to do. All right, so I'm gonna go through these one by one. All right, and I don't have any specific order. It's not an order of best to worst. I'm not doing that today. Instead, I'm gonna go through it and tell you the, the, the scope and sequence, what it covers, and then we're gonna look inside at how it covers it, and I'm gonna talk about what learning style that might be a better fit for. All right, so let's start with a Becca. This is an Abeka math program. This is Arithmetic 2. They're grade 2 math. Now, Abeka, as far as homeschool styles goes, is more traditional. So that means it's very much like you would find in the school system, open and go, textbook style. Abeka is also a bit advanced. So for children who struggle with math, Abeka is probably not going to be the best fit unless you can go back early enough. But even if you go back early enough, it progresses quite quickly. The kindergarten math is quite advanced and so some parents find that their children fall behind. So that's something to be aware of when you're considering a Becca. If your child excels at math, they're good at math, they understand math and they need a challenge, a Becca might be a really good fit for them. If your child is kinesthetic, hands-on, they like to see, feel and explore with their hands, then that tactile portion of math is missing from this curriculum. That means it's cheaper because you don't have to go and get an extra manipulatives kit that many of these other math programs have. However, it also means that it lacks that component. So now in order to teach your kids something they're struggling with, you have to go and add it and try to show them in a hands-on way, which can be challenging because we as parents want something laid out in front of us. So just some things to think about when we're looking at Abeka. Now I'm gonna tell you the scope and sequence so you can get an idea of what's covered. And I'm gonna be showing you up close with my camera as well, flip through so you can see what it looks looks like. So table of contents, they're going to be learning all sorts of different things from addition families, money, bar graph, time, fractions, um, linear measures, uh, place value to the thousandth, making change, uh, multiplication tables to five, division tables to five, rounding to the nearest dollar, line graphs, time to the minute, place value to the hundred thousand. So for grade two, you can clearly see this is very advanced. Very few grade two programs are going into division and multiplication at this level for this, this age range, okay? So let's just take a flip through and as we do, I'm gonna tell you some other things that you might wanna consider with a Becca. All right, so as we flip through here, you can see it's very bright, it's very colorful, it's very easy to do. They're gonna be doing, uh, let's see here, lesson 14. 
They're gonna be doing about two pages a day, so it's not too overwhelming. It's great for children that love worksheets, and it's, you know, it's a colorful, fun program they can color. Something you'll be noticing in here is that for my fellow Canadians, it does use US dollars, which is a little hard to get away from because a lot of math curric curriculums are from the US and do use US um, money. So that's just something to consider. It's never been a huge deal for us. We just pull out our money and show them and they're similar enough that there hasn't been a huge issue. But just to give you an idea of what is covered. So that's basically a Becca. That's the way it's laid out. It is a strong math curriculum. There is nothing wrong with any of these curriculums, but I can tell you that that is definitely something you're gonna to wanna to look for if A, you're more of a traditional homeschooler. B, your child is more of a workbook style. They thrive off that. They understand math, they get it, they want a bit of a challenge, they're good at it. And maybe your life dynamics, if you're a homeschool family, is that you need something that your child can just open and go and doesn't need a whole lot of parental involvement from you because this has that set up. The other thing that's great about it is that for people that have to do testing and different things to prove where their kids are at and what level, it incorporates tests and speed drills right into it. So although it is very traditional and may not work for some families who want more out of the box math or more kinesthetic hands-on math, it does work well for families that are more traditional in their style and that, that their family thrives from just open and go workbooks that they can take anywhere they go. So that is a Becca math. Let's move on. The other one that I have here before me, and I bought it brand new, paid and purchased, just to show you in this review, is the Singapore math, also known as primary mathematics. Okay, so I have, there is, let's see here, 5A, 5A workbook textbook, textbook workbook. Okay, so there is two sections to each year. So grade five has A and B. It comes with textbooks and it comes with workbooks. So this is Singapore math. Again, Singapore math is definitely recommended for more advanced and for children that grasp math concepts easily and need a bit of a challenge. In that case, this is a very well laid out program. It is actually based off of the whole idea that in Singapore, they teach mathematics very differently than we do traditionally and have traditionally taught here in North America. So it brings over some really strong strategies to help your children master math concepts, but it has very high expectations of them in the process. So let's look through the textbook to to give you an idea of how it is laid out. So this is the grade five. So what they would be covering in grade five, things like factors and multiples, prime factorization, multiplying by tens, hundreds of thousands, methods for mental calculation, word problems, comparing fractions, addition and subtraction, um, square units, rectangles and squares, finding ratio, equivalent ratios, all that different kind of stuff. So the way it is set up when it's explaining to them in a textbook is that you can see here, let's go to just the first lesson. It's teaching about whole numbers, so they're gonna be reading through this. So it's giving them you know, visuals to explain, it's giving them examples, and you could either go through this with them and teach them, but at this level they can work through this on their own. It kind of shows them step by step by step what they're gonna do and then some sample problems to give them an idea. Now what they're gonna do is go over to their workbook here and they're going to practice using what they've just learned. So this is an example of that. So as you can see, as far as a program that's easy to use for child and parent, open and go, um, simply work through it, it's a little bit different. It's a little more advanced. There's less fun, bright colors, and it's more higher expectations of what your child will do. So this gives you an idea of, let's like look through the workbook here, of what they're gonna be doing. 
And remember, that's not necessarily a bad thing. There are families that absolutely love Singapore because it is no nonsense, because it's very easy for the child, especially some visual learners, get distracted by a lot of bright colors and fun little things, whereas this might be a little bit easier for them to focus on. So it is not a negative thing. It can actually work in your child's favor. Here's a look at the textbook. But it is not as, as fun of a program. So if your child needs a lot of motivation or they need it to be fun and exciting, then this may not be the best program for them. So Singapore Math is recommended for kids that are ready for more of a challenge, they understand math, and for parents that aren't afraid, especially in the younger grades, of getting involved and working alongside your child. Which remember, with math, unfortunately, you're never really gonna get away with kindergarten grade one and grade two not doing math with your child because they're not going to be able to read what to do. So that's just something to pay in mind with all math curriculums, but definitely this is a little bit more teacher involved in the earlier years as opposed to some of the other ones like even at Becca where you can open, read the instructions and go. It's a little bit easier laid out. So that is Singapore. Singapore is also a lot more expensive and partly it's a lot more expensive because of the name, because of the value of what it brings and also because it has these four books as opposed to just one book throughout the year that you'll be working in. So let's take a look at Horizons. Horizons Math. This is the kindergarten math. So again, there are two books, book one and book two. Horizons Math reminds me a lot of a Becca Math. It's very bright, it's very colorful, it's very easy to use, and for the younger years, instruction is built right into the lesson, so you don't need to have additional books, okay? So you can see it's very bright, it's their counting, um, they are circling the correct numbers. Again, it is US, so you're gonna have US money that you're dealing with, but not a huge disadvantage. There's number lines they can bounce along and gives them lots of, of you know, different activities to help reinforce. And it's basically another workbook style program that they're going to work through. So this gives you an idea of the way it is set up. Very, very, very similar to a Becca. So a couple things to think about in this program is the number lines can be really, really helpful for some children. They also can be something that your child becomes dependent on where they're unable to add or subtract or skip count if they don't have a number line because that is how they learned and they now need it in order to do it. So it's great for some kids, other kids, if you're gonna use it, you might wanna bring in other addition and subtraction um, strategies to help your child really master those concepts so they don't get too, too stuck. But it, it works well for families that need something very simple, open and go. It is a little bit dry in the fact that it is, again, textbook style. It is, again, more traditional in its approach. And so families that want something that's more out of the box, more fun, or more of a mastery approach might not appreciate this as much, which is more, you know, built in with review, 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 over and over and over and over, and can become a little bit overkill for the child. All right, how are you feeling so far? You guys, we're not even halfway through, so we gotta keep motoring along. Let's move on to teaching textbooks. Now, teaching textbooks is an exciting one for many, 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 many parents because it is one that has kind of taken all of the work away from the parents. So when you're thinking of programs that require a lot more of you, Teaching textbooks is not one of those. It has taken all of the weight off the parent. It teaches your child for you. They log on, they can work through their lessons, it teaches them, and they can move at their own pace. So let's take a look inside here. So there's a number of different components that you have with a year of math. A couple things you need to consider is that teaching textbooks does not start until grade three. So if you have younger children, this is not going to apply to you yet. So teaching textbooks comes with discs, and these discs are actually software that go into your computer and you would download, and your child kind of logs on to almost like a computer game that they have little animations and it has a little lesson that they listen to with 
you know, different pictures showing on the screen to help them see visually that math concept played out in front of them. And then they work through their practice problems. They can do them on the computer. They can also follow along in a textbook that also has the teaching right built into it and then has the same practice problems that they can work through. So to give you an idea, Opening up here, you can see that it has a teaching and then it has some practice. So this is great. A lot of parents have their children work in their workbooks along with the software to help them see, write down their steps, have paper in order to, you know, even work out all the different steps of the process and then they can work through it that way. Now, the great thing about this software is that even within the software that is teaching your child, it also marks for you and it keeps very, very careful track. So you can log on, you can see what lessons your child has completed, how well they've done, what they've skipped, what they had to, you know, relearn and you can go back and redo that lesson if you feel that they didn't truly master it. So it's very easily set up for parents to do and it is a huge hit with families. A couple things that you might want to consider if you're looking at this math program is like I said, it does not start till grade three. So that's a deterrent for some people that have their children in kindergarten, perhaps. They might not be able to use this program. So if your kids are old enough to use it, you might wanna think about the fact that you're going to make sure that you need to have a computer. You need to have a computer for either each child or more realistically, your kids are gonna to need to rotate and cycle on the computer in order to do their lessons and watch their videos. So for some families that works really, really, really well. For other families that is kind of a deterrent because it's hard harder for them or they have lots of kids and it's harder to find that computer time or they just don't have that in their values. So that's something to keep in mind when you're looking at teaching textbooks. Another thing is that it is very spiral in its approach, which is great for some families. Some families love the spiral approach because it's review built in constantly all year round. However, what can happen is if you have a child that is not mastering a concept, especially with the more hands-off approach of this program, your child can sometimes fall behind if they're more kinesthetic and tactile and need to have that hands-on component or if they're not catching the concept and it's moving on before they fully mastered it. So for some families this is a godsend and for other families it does not work as well. So you need to take those things into consideration when you're looking at teaching textbooks. All right, jump math. Now, I know there's many, many, many people here that are thinking, I have not heard of jump math. Jump math is actually not really found as traditionally in homeschool environments. This is a Canadian edition that I wanted to show you. It is also available in a US edition, but I want to show you inside. It's very closely aligned with what the schools are teaching and it is set up in a way that works quite well for students. It's definitely not like a Becca or Horizon. It is not bright, it is not colorful, it is workbook style, but it does have the number line that children can work along with to help them jump hence the name, and build you know, the, the numbers that they're building and see it more clearly. It is not nearly as well laid out. The instruction guide is not built in at all. Because it is designed for schools, you actually have to try to contact them to even get an instructor guide to go along with it. So because of that, it has been successful for some families, but it is not an easy to use program when we're looking at it in comparison with some of these other programs that are built with parent, teacher, homeschool families in mind. So it goes through basically concepts that they would need to learn in school and like I said it is used in public school settings as well so it's very comprehensive but it is also not as easy to use. So there's two books that go along with the grade. You can see a little example of it here and Something that you may want to look at if your child is very important to you that they keep up with standards. If you feel like you want to do what kids are doing in public school, whether it's jump math or whether it's a math with your local school district, it might be worth checking in with them and seeing what they use. If that is a really important value of yours or you're considering putting your kids back in down the road and you don't want them to be learning different content or miss something along the way, then you might want to check in with your local school district and see if you can somehow align with that. This program would definitely help you do that. 
All right, so I'm gonna show you math lessons for a living education. So this is a math curriculum you've probably seen me talk a little bit more about. I'm gonna keep it really basic in this one. If you wanna see more reviews, I will link to that in the description below because I have reviewed this extensively, especially in my Facebook Live videos. But I wanna show you how it is laid out specifically. This is very Christian. Very, very Christian. Abeka is also Christian, okay? But it's not as much built in. It might have a lesson that has Noah's Ark in it or something like that, but it's not necessarily built into the same extent. This is very, very Christian, and what I mean by that is that it is story-based, and the stories all talk about God and point to God. So because of that, you really can't get away from the fact that if you're using this program, you need to probably be a Christian family or looking for those Christian values to teach your child because you will be talking about them regularly. So it is set up in a really unique way. In the very beginning, it has a, a scope and sequence that you can follow along with that tells you everything that is covered. And a lot of parents look at this compared to some of these other programs that have two, three, four, five books in them, and they think maybe this won't cover enough. But what's really neat about the program is that you can look through the scope and sequence and you can actually go and compare that to something like teaching textbooks, and you can see that it does line up. The same things are being taught but it teaches in such a different approach that you actually have to do a lot less. It blends spiral with review built in. However, it is a mastery approach where these stories are helping your child to take connections of what they are learning and apply it to their life and how it affects them and what it looks like in the real world. So another thing that's really neat about anything published by Masterbooks is that it has a daily schedule built into the front. So definitely if you're looking for a program that is open and go and made and, and tailored to homeschool families, this is one of them. And if you have to do grading, you can also grade right directly in your book. So you can see here it has an example. This It has a story. Your child would read the story and do a worksheet on day one, and then they would work through and do worksheets to apply what they've just learned. It has hands-on built in. It caters to all learning styles, and yet you do not need to have anything else than one book. So it is definitely probably the most affordable program I have shown you in this review. It is very, very affordable because you don't have to buy a manipulatives kit. You don't have to buy a teacher's guide. Everything is built into the program, and instead you get to use things around you to help your child be more kinesthetic and hands-on to apply and master the concepts. So with the stories and with the worksheets and with the hands-on components and projects, it's also very Charlotte Mason in approach with copy work and dictation built right in. And so because of all of these things, it helps your child master it and it is catered for all learning styles. So a lot of families this works really well for and helps them cover all the bases and yet master what they're learning. And it's not overkill because it's one or two pages a day that they're doing, as opposed to some of these other programs that are a lot more. So what kind of families will Math Lessons for a Living Education work for? It's gonna work better for Christian families because non-Christian families who are looking for secular curriculum are probably going to find the stories go too in depth into God that they are wanting to go into. So it is designed and made for Christian homeschoolers. So that's first and foremost. Secondly, it's going to work really well for families that need to have something easy and open and go and very easily laid out for mom or independently for the child and yet still have a value system of working together with your children. This brings a relational concept into math. So for the younger grades, it's written to the teacher. They're going to read the story snuggled up on the couch to their child and the older grades, they're going to start to move into more independent work. So that's the kind of learning styles it's going to work for. Some families may prefer to go get something more expensive like some of the other programs I'm going to show you that come with massive manipulative kits because their kits are super, super hands-on or very, very behind in struggling. But this program does integrate hands-on manipulatives all built within it. So it's definitely something to check out. And all of these, you guys, definitely go and check out their websites. You can see more. You can see samples. You can read other reviews. Don't take my word for it. This is just giving you an idea of learning styles, homeschool styles, and which families this might work better for. So Math Lessons for Living Education, again, if you love Charlotte Mason homeschooling, this program is going to be something you're going to love because most of the rest of these, in fact, all of the rest of these are definitely not Charlotte Mason in their approach. 
All right, you guys, I know you've been waiting for it, Math UC. Math UC is one of the head companies as far as math curriculum, teaching textbooks, Abeka, Math UC, Math Lessons for a Living Education. These are some of the ones that most people are familiar with. Some of the other ones they are a little less familiar with. So I'm gonna show you inside Math UC. Math UC is great for more hands-on students and the reason is that you get manipulatives. And again, when I say you get manipulatives, you purchase manipulatives, which makes this a more expensive kit. Your first year, you're gonna be paying more to get your manipulatives and all of your instruction manuals and test booklets and everything you need to go along with the program. As you go along and use it for younger children, it becomes more affordable because now you only have to get your student workbook because you already have everything else that you need. So the blocks are color coded to help your child visually see quite quickly what they're working with. They, they don't necessarily, they can click together, you can see, so sometimes kids like to play together with them um, while they're learning their lessons and it's all built in with instruction. So there is a DVD that they will sit and watch once a week that will explain the new concept or lesson and then there's an instruction manual built for mom if you prefer to do it instead of the DVD or want to follow along or are stuck with where your child is at. There's test booklet so that you can do testing with your child as well and then you have your student workbook that they're going to work through and practice the new concept that they have learned. So a couple things to note with math you see. As we're looking through it here, um, you're going to want to keep in mind that this is a very easily laid out program. It's a very comprehensive program. In fact, it is one of the most comprehensive programs of any of the curriculums you've seen today. That is because although many of these are mastery to an extent or spiral to an extent, math you see is the most mastery based math curriculum that I have ever seen. One year is almost solely devoted to one topic. So beta, they're gonna learn addition and subtraction with multiple digit. Okay, gamma, they're learning number, place value, and addition. Each one has something else. There's, there's one just for multiplication. There's one just for division to make sure that they are mastering that. So they learn the concept and they build upon it until they are doing it at the greatest level they'll need to do so that then they can learn the next concept. And it really works well for some students who need that more foundational approach to math because Addition and subtraction are really just opposing. Once you know the, the addition, you're just finding the missing number for subtraction. Same thing with multiplication and division. So it builds those connections and really works well for kids that are more hands-on and or need a lot more worksheets to help them master a concept. Some kids go crazy with this curriculum because it is so mastery approach that they get sick of doing the same thing, they're ready to move on sooner and they're stuck in a cycle of doing one subject. Some parents get a little stressed out with this program because they want to make sure that their child is learning along the same pace as what the school system is. And if you homeschooled for multiple years and all your child had learned was addition and subtraction and maybe multiplication at a grade three level, and you put them in school, they might be expected to know a whole lot more than that that maybe has not been covered yet and your child's way ahead in some areas and way behind in others. So because of that, it does not work perfectly for all families. It is very easily laid out, like I said, with the DVD instructions and the instruction manual. It's written very well. It's a fantastic program. But those are the things you're gonna to wanna to think about. Cost, you're gonna to wanna to think about is your child gonna get frustrated with the mastery approach of the lessons? Is it a value of yours to keep up with the school system? It is not common core. And what are you looking for overall in a math program? Are you looking for something that's like this that is more of a traditional approach in, in school where they, they read and they work through worksheets? Or are you looking for something that is a little bit more out of the box? And lastly, I'm gonna show you one program that is incredibly out of the box and give you hopefully a lot of different ideas. The one that I could not find to show you but I feel like I don't need to show you as much is Life of Fred. And Life of Fred is the other one that is funny, funny stories with some application questions that your child would work through more verbally word problem style to help them master and works very, very well for students that are struggling, struggling with math because it brings in that humor and it brings in the life application. What it makes it different from something like 
math lessons for a living education is that it doesn't have the same comprehensiveness or the same worksheet style so that they can prove and work through an entire year. Instead, they would work through kind of precept upon precept so that they're building on what they're learning in Life of Fred. So it's not as comprehensive as something like Math Lessons for a Living Education, but the pro is that it is secular. So you're not going to have to worry about it having a whole lot of stories that might, you know, not be a good fit for your family if you're not a Christian homeschool family. All right, you guys, the last one that I want to show you today is Right Start. I know I'm missing Saxon and I'm hoping to add to this, but I I do want to make sure that I've shown you most of what I see out there as the bigger name math companies that you can look through. So Right Start is a math curriculum that is definitely on the more expensive side. So right off the bat, that needs to be something that you consider. It is more expensive because of course you're getting all these things included with it. So you need to have your manipulatives, you need to have your card games, all your card games and then an entire book teaching you how to play each of the card games. You have have a student workbook and this is going to be bringing in the full approach of workbook of parent involvement it is definitely more parent involved as well as the hands-on so it works really really well for kinesthetic learners but primarily if you have a child with dyscalculia dysgraphia dyslexia any sort of learning challenge in any capacity this program is phenomenal. I would recommend this program to any child with a kinesthetic learner and to any home with a child that has special needs or struggles or has a learning struggle in any capacity because it really drives home the point in every possible way to make sure that they were truly mastering it. So one of the things you can see here, even this, okay, so if they are doing seven plus two is the same as Let's do six and three. There we go. So you can see it's bringing in this. At the same time, they're using their abacus. So they're starting to build the connection with the colors, grouping by five so they can quickly see that that is a seven. They use this even while they do their card games so that they're reinforcing and helping them to learn and do things quickly and master it, not just having to memorize to forget. The card games are built in as well. There's shapes built in, there's geometric boards, there's rulers, there's clocks, there's everything. Absolutely everything you can possibly need for the year is in here and you can use to help your child learn the different concepts throughout the year. So almost every day, my daughter is playing a card game. Almost every day, she's using some sort of hands-on something along with playing a game, along with us singing a song, along with working on some worksheets. She is fully grasping, is mastery with Spiral, and it really has been a huge game changer for her specifically families this might not work well for. If you do not have time to work one-on-one -on -one with a child, this probably will not work for you because this program requires parent involvement, quite a lot of parent involvement. So if you do not have the time for parental involvement, then you might struggle with this math curriculum because you need to sit down with them. You need to read up on the new math game you're going to be learning. You need to play it with them or at least teach a sibling to play it with them. You need to teach them all the new concepts and do it along with them. So like I said, works really, really, really well for struggling learners, but it can be a deterrent for mom who maybe has four other kids and has to try to fit in this one-on-one -on -one independent learning with one child while she still has to teach her other children as well. So really, really, really highly recommended for any child who is kinesthetic, for any child who's struggling. Pay in mind the fact that it is a lot more expensive, but it is comprehensive. Once you have your manipulatives kit, you have it, and it becomes cheaper as you go on, and it is a phenomenal 
program for mastery for any struggling learner. So hopefully this gives you an overview. There are so many math curriculums out there. I know it is overwhelming trying to choose. I don't want you to think any of these are less valuable than others. I want you to think instead of your values, what you're looking for, what's important to you. What are your child's learning styles? What is your homeschool style? Are you more Charlotte Mason and Math Lessons for a Living Education appeals to you? Are you more traditional and maybe something like Horizons or Abeka really appeals to you? Do you have a child who excels at math and you want to challenge them? Singapore or Saxon are probably going to be really good fits for your family. Do you have a child who struggles with math and needs something more hands-on? Then maybe math you see or write start is going to be a better fit for you. And do you have a lifestyle that is insane and do you work from home and you can't keep up with all your kids and math makes you want to scream? Then maybe teaching textbooks is going to be a good fit for you. There's tons of different options. Don't get overwhelmed. Have a peek through all of these. Come over to my blog for more details and in-depth look at each one. I'm going to create a chart so that you can see some of the comparisons of each and then sit back and go to the different sites, read other people's reviews, not just mine, and take a look at the samples because that's going to give you the best indicator and the, and the reading tests and all those different things to see if you think it's going to be a good fit for your family. And then once you make a decision, just run with it. And if it doesn't work for you, drop it and try something else. But don't second guess yourself because there kind of is nothing out there that's perfect and there really isn't anything out there that's perfect in every season. I have tried many of these different programs and they work great sometimes for a season and then they don't work for me anymore. So just be free to find what's going to work for you. Enjoy the process. Have fun shopping around. And if you have any math curriculum related questions, post it in the comments below or shoot me a message or shoot me an email. I will respond as soon as I can. And otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button for more amazing reviews by Rebecca. Keep calm. Homeschool on.